Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS Athena and how to use it, how we can query the uh, files that are saved in the S3 bucket. So I will show you a small demo for that and how to create a database, what kind of data can be queried and all. So I'll be showing you a demo for that. So before we start, let's just a brief introduction about it. So you can see over here in the picture also like uh, it's like from the console, a user. We can also create a work group that will from that we will choose a file that has been saved in S3 bucket, a CSV file, and then it will create a table. Then we can query on that. We can write different queries we can write for that. So this is just a basic idea about this thing. Okay. Let's move on to this one. Just a brief introduction. So you can see it's analyzed petabyte scale data where it lives and easy ease with ease and flexibility. So we get streamlined near instant startup of SQL or Apache Spark analytics. Build interactive. You get lots of information from there. And you can use any kind of application using data, whether it's on premises in your data lake or in other cloud stores. And also there is a flexibility with the choice of language, or open data formats that we want to use it. And there is some um, machine learning tool integration is also there. And you pay based upon the number of queries that you run. So this is the whole operation. I will just jump into the demo session. So you can see this is my bucket over here. So inside this bucket, I have, this is my bucket over here. You can also create one bucket. If you don't have any bucket, you can just create one. So you can see this is global over here. And make it show, let me show you over here. So this particular bucket is in the region. So I'm talking about this AWS Lambda DS. So you can see it is in the AWS region, US East one. So make it show when you write your this uh, queries and all in Athena, the same region is being used. Otherwise it will not pick up your uh, CSV file that has been stored in the S3 bucket. So we will inside this bucket. I have created one folder over here. Inside the folder, I have saved my one of the CSV files, sample.csv file, just a sample data. I will show you this file. This is the file that I've uploaded. Why I'm telling to create a folder? Because if you don't create a folder and save it separately, it will analyze all the files. Whatever the content is there, it will analyze and it will mix up everything. So in order to avoid mixing and also just create a separate folder, just keep that one file and <coughs> we will be passing that uh, single URL only in the source. So I will show you. So just let me show you this file, notepad file. So you can see just these values are there, even though it is being repeated. Okay. This is my sample file that is being uploaded. So once you have uploaded this file, you can just go to the Amazon Athena over here. Then you can click on the launch query editor. So here you can see by default database, uh, this is being created. One, when you run for the first time, it will. you can see the workgroup primary is there. So it will ask you whether you want to use the default database or you want to create your own database. So you can I put this one, my database name. So these are my previous tables. So I will just click over here, create a table from a data source that is S3 bucket data. So let's say, Table demo. So 
So if you choose to create a new database, you can create, or I am using this existing one, but for you, it will be, you have to create one, or you can use the default one. So uh, let me see the, so I have to provide this path of my folder over here, copy S3 URI. So I will just pass this one over here. Okay. Now here, table format, you can check it over here. The information, like uh, what kind of table, so lots of information are there. Serializer and all those things. So you can just have a quick view on this if you want to get into more details. I'm just showing you the basic thing like the Apache Hive that we will be having table type and text file it will be CSV. And uh, that's it. It is using the third library. And here the delimiter, it will be a comma separating the values. Then here we need to add the columns. We can add it over here. We can define the data type. If you want to add bulk columns, you can just click over here and you can just put a comma like this, name, string, comma, uh, address, page string. So like this, you can also define some bulk columns. You can add it or you can add it one by one. It's your wish. Then rest of things, you can just keep it as it is. So you can see a preview is coming over here. Preview table query. So we'll just click on the create table. So you can see it has completed. So you can see the table is showing over here in a table demo. So you can see this was the query that we executed. Create external table if not exist. These are the columns, row format. Then we have stored input location and the table properties. All this information are coming over here. And you can see the query results. And you can also check the query stats over here. Uh, it's not showing over here, just time milliseconds that is showing over here. Then the query results. So now if you want to get into details, like you can see over here, delete table, insert into editor, generate table details, then preview table. So basically when you click on the preview table, so it is like, it will return you the rows like this. You can see over here. Now this data, it is like showing you like with the headings and all. And you might be thinking the whole data is not coming, but it is saving in the analysis part. So you can also specify over here, select star from this table where ID equal to same SQL queries and then run it. So you can see over here, it is returning you one result. So you can utilize this. You can write malware if whatever you want to do. You can choose the columns. You can different different things you can do. Now, if you click on this uh, generate table, so you can see show create table. So basically, it is showing you the create table, the whole query. So if you don't know what are the things that are being uh, use or what are the settings are being made field terminated and blah blah things and also you can just run this one and you can check uh, what kind of table it is and it will show you the details okay so you can see on the top uh, it is showing you the number of times you can run in the queries so you can save these queries and you can check in the saved queries so what are the recent queries being executed so you can see these are the queries being executed and execution ID is there on which table where it was being started. And you can also download this, all the details. And if you have saved any queries, it will come to the saved queries. I didn't save anything. Now, sometimes you might be getting some errors and all, make it show your query result location. Now, these are the queries, whatever the recent queries you are running. So it will be getting saved in your, uh, if you go to the S3 bucket, you can see my 
RR folder was just having this sample.csv, but now it is showing something called, let me go inside RR. Okay, it's not showing anything because I didn't run the query multiple times. It just creates us it all the temp data over here in this particular folder. It will be coming with the name unsaved. So you can see this is unsaved and 2023 05, that is the month, and 22 is the date. That is today's date. So you can see over here these all these things csv metadata text and all so if you download this one this is basically the results and all that whatever queries we have run against the table it's it's basically saved so next time when you uh, keep on running the queries so this will also be part of the uh, like uh, data source and it will show you the results so if you're having lots of log files some uh, app insights or something like that that you have a, a like from the um what's that uh, cloud insights and all we have some logs and all so that logs analysis if you want to do you can just put those files in the s3 bucket and you can just query through it and you can first but you need to populate the data we have to create a table and then after that you can just query through the data so it's not just one file you can have multiple files also there so you can query through all the files in one go. So this was just a small basic example. I hope you understood the concept how we can um, query the files we were using this Amazon Athena. So that's all from my side in this video. I hope you like the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.